This is Lorette de Moor. The most prominent feature is the castle behind me, the Castle de San Juan. It was actually built in the 11th century. It was aimed at protecting attacks from the sea, but the only attack you'll get this side from the sea is people on jet skis, probably. Now, one of the reasons why I love Lorette de Moor so much, not only do we have a beach that stretches out about a mile behind me, but we've got lots of these gorgeous little rock walls and lots of these little coves too. It really is very relaxing out here. So as mentioned, there really is something for everybody here. For the toddlers, well, there are lots of these little play parts like this. For the grown-ups, well, I'm sure we'll get to that this evening. Lots of play parts. <laughs> Disco! So it's very important, the beaches are governed impeccably. There's usually a lifeguard on every beach, certainly in the, the summer months. And here, as you'll notice, there's a safe area, which is a water park for the kids on the sea. So on the beach, I've definitely found some Brits. Are you having a good time, yeah. guys? Yeah, we've only been here for 12 hours, but it's already great here. I know, it's been good, man. We've, uh, we've taken a few wee back streets. Um, just didn't be marketplaces, I but just try to get a figure out as well. Where to go and where to see, you know? Why did yeah. you choose where at the mall? Well, we heard that it's really pretty and nice during the day, but there's a nightlife at night, so we thought... You Have know, you discovered that yet? <laughs> nah, not yet. I mean, we, 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 had a, we had a wee look last night, quite jumping in the, yeah. the main strip, but uh, yeah, not at all, but I'm well, excited to go to the and just yeah. see what it's like, you know? Well, have a really nice time and thank you so much. Thank you, you. thank you. Now, even though the Lorette de Mar might be famed for sun, sea, sand, sangria, there are lots of places of culture. This, in fact, is the Museum de Mar, famed in Lorette. If a beach bar is your thing, you can do far worse than this beach bar. It looks out across the sea, the water sports, people enjoying themselves, people suntanning. I think we've had too much sun at the moment, so a little bit of shade, it's not a bad thing. Now this is Christina, she's got some very important messages, haven't you? Tienes que ir a visitar Lloret, tiene playas espectaculares, un castillo maravilloso, chiringuitos espectaculares y la gente es maravillosa. Now for the people in Britain that don't speak Spanish as well as you do, what did you just say? Come and visit Lloret. <laughs> So wherever you go in the world, you're always looking for that hidden gem. This is called Calabanes, and it's off the beaten track at Lorette de Mar. It's about 150 meter walk that way. But to be honest with you, it's probably one of the most idyllic settings I've ever seen in my life. It really is pure heaven. We know it's right.